YouTube, welcome back to another Honkai Star Rail reaction video. Today we are going to be diving into Sparkles, uh, Sparkles trailers. We're going to be doing the Myriad Celestia trailer. Following that, we're going to be diving into her trailer itself, Sparkles trailer. And thereafter, we're going to do Keeping Up with Sparkle, uh, that, uh, the one where we have a look at her kit and everything. So yeah, uh, if you're wondering why this video is coming out at this time, it's because uh, I've been on a very long break. Uh, over the past few months or so and uh, because of that I have not touched anything um, related to Star Rail or Genshin over the over the month of like February and uh, we're only now coming back into Star Rail and uh, Genshin Impact so uh, yeah so that's why like uh, when I was away I have not seen any of the uh, recent videos or anything but uh, as of now we've completed the Pentacle 2.0 story quest so it would be nice to see uh, how Sparkle is. Um, yeah, given that uh, these trailers uh, only came out halfway, uh, halfway during version 2.0. So yeah, without any further ado, let us dive into the Myriad Celestia trailer. Sparkle behind the curtain. Ooh. <laughs> Hello, are you Doesn't in a disguise? Who I am off stage. Aha, uh -huh. Sparkle premiere performance. All the audience needs to know. Where is this? That when I'm on stage, I'm just Sparkle. It's you, Ooh. my beloved mask. When I'm happy, you're smiling too. Aha. Uh -huh. When I'm angry, you're still smiling. When I'm sad. You keep on smiling. That's because it's a mess. You're like a veil that I can hide under. Oh. The one wearing the veil. That's Sparkle. What is this? Sparkle showing number 99. It's you, my beloved mask. When I'm happy, you're smiling too. Ooh. When I'm angry, you're screaming too. Oh. When I'm sad, you're crying too. Oh. When Things have changed. Mirror, showing my reflection. The one in the mirror. That sparkle. Oh boy. Sparkle showing number 990. My beloved mask. Oh. When I'm happy, you're screaming. When I'm angry, you're crying. Oh god. When I'm sad, oh god. You're smiling. You're like a face staring at me. I I'm not Sparkle. Oh boy. No. I am Sparkle. So, when I realized life was just a play, oh, this I wanted is... to leave the stage. Because off stage, there's an even bigger stage. Oh, wow. What do you say? <laughs> Who's the real sparkle? Wait, hold on. This is like a witch sparkle. This like, I don't know what that is. Oh wow, Kafka spike, Kafka spikle, sparkle. Oh my god, I can't speak. Is that underwater sparkle? Then that's a juggling sparkle. That's a herder sparkle and a happy sparkle. In the bottom right there. Ooh, very interesting. I wonder if this dives into a past. When you realize that this is just the play and want to leave the stage, you will soon discover that there's nothing aside from Sparkle's stage. Ooh, very interesting. I definitely will have to watch this a couple more times to be able to catch more of a, more of what she's trying to imply with all of this. It seems that she was... She, it seems like she was mentally broken by something. Be it performing on the stage so many times to the point where... She feels like real life is her, 
per stage or something like that. I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm not reading into it that much at the moment. Maybe after watching her trailer. Maybe after watching her trailer, then we'll find out more. But yeah, we're going to transit over to a trailer now. All right, we're back with Sparkle's trailer, Monodrama. Ooh. Oh. What is... She just shot a gun. The music is... Wilding. Oh. Couple of sparkles on the floor. Is that meant to represent Robin and Firefly? Oh god. Sparkle mass fools. Oh, the music is going hard. Why does she keep shooting herself? That is worrying. Full, but holy crap. Oh wow. And they changed the logo for Sparkle as well. Wow. What is this? <laughs> Were you scared just now? No, but I am confused. <laughs> Why is this a recurring team? I'm just confused all around. But still, that's a really cool trailer. Have you ever met anyone who isn't a big hassle? Who isn't a huge hassle? If you help me mess everything up, then I'll allow you to be mine. Well, I know a bunch of people that would for Sparkle. But yeah, uh, that is Sparkle's trailer. Genuinely confused. Seems like... Elements of gambling are involved in this one. I wonder if that has any relation to the story, especially with the uh, bits in the background. Uh, in one of the earlier scenes where you saw like two people lying on the floor dead, I wonder if that refers to Robin and Sparkle. Uh, not Robin and Sparkle, Robin and Firefly, especially after the um, the events of the uh, especially after the events of the uh, main Trailblaze mission for version two point I am really excited to see how the story will continue from here on out though. This is very interesting. Alright, we're gonna transit to Sparkle's uh, equivalent of Collected Miscellany, but I keep forgetting what it's called. Keeping up with Star Rail. But yeah, uh, we're gonna transit to that right now. Oops, my bad. Uh, before that, we have one more trailer to look at. A Moment Amongst Stars, Sparkling Tricks. It's a less than a minute one. I forgot about this one. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, the Sparkle. Just like a big non-stop circus showcasing beasts rolling all day. Music night. reminiscent of her trailers. Yep. Lions leaping through fire hoops. Monkeys juggling bulls. Me. I'm happy being a side character in the background. Ooh. Cheering on those who have the limelight. Then at the climax of the performance, bang! Sparkling like fireworks in oh, wow. brilliant colors. You think the leading character would dare do this? After all, the stage is just a play. Maybe the whole story of 2.0, 2.1, 2.2 for Star Rail is just about a huge play. And we're all just watching along, seeing things as they come. Ooh, this is interesting. This world's just like a big non-stop circus showcasing, showcasing beasts brawling all day and night. 
Bears on unicycles. Oh, she mentioned this. Uh, yep. Hmm. Interesting. It's exactly the same thing as uh, what she mentioned. I have a feeling Sparkle will come into play ev an even bigger role in the upcoming uh, story bits. So I can't wait to see what she has in store for us. But yeah, uh, now we're heading to the Keeping Up With uh, Star Rail Sparkle Edition. So yeah, we're transiting now. Okay, very quickly, um, before we actually dive into the video, I find it funny that um, they titled it Keeping Up With Star Rail Sparkle Ability Intro Vid. Remember to fix title. Very, very funny. Honkai Star Rail. Alright, we're diving into it. Before the start of this episode, please allow me to share a riddle with you all to warm us up. All right. I am beautiful and dazzling from afar, but I can burn you when you get close. I am clearly very dangerous Ooh. and ever popular. I appear when night falls and hide away when daylight rises. You eagerly anticipate me. Would bid farewell when I'm at my brightest. Ooh. I can only bring momentary joy, but you will remember me for a lifetime. Who am I? The answer is Sparkle. our main character for today, Sparkle. Quantum Harmony. Wait, what? Oh, What's samples I here. To introduce Black Swan to better showcase the artistic life of Mr. Sparkle to the audience. The production team specially invited her close friend from the tavern world, Zen, Mr. Sampo. Oh, uh, dear audience, <laughs> it is I, <laughs> your old friend Sempo. But I must say, Sparkle and I aren't that close. <laughs> hmm. Didn't you invite me as a guest to introduce the Garden of Recollection memo keepers? What's there to introduce about Sparkle? Oh, <laughs> Sampo, you're mistaken. Mr. Sparkle is a top performer in the galaxy. I see. Some viewers may not be familiar with her yet. But I want to say that once you've witnessed her exciting performance, and I have a feeling that design. that performance will be coming well, soon in the upcoming we're friends, stories. We can discuss changing the script on the fly. But maybe you can add in a little something something for me. <laughs> oh, dear, this will involve oh boy. Some calculations. I can make this decision. Now, how about we finish recording the episode first and then I'll ask the boss for you. Friends, <laughs> after all, and I won't let you down. And what about the compensation for being knocked unconscious by unidentified individuals backstage? Oh. We're friends, right? And what about the compensation for that text message scam you sent me? Oh. After all, we're friends, right? Oh, oh, oh the feud. Here. Oh. Let's not bring up the past. Let's come. Compromise. I'll be a good guest for this episode, and if there's anything good in the future, don't forget your old pal. You can think about the best old pal sample cost acting skills. Let's proceed with the rest of the program. Alrighty. <clears throat> Sparkle is a quantum type character. Oh, she's the playing for Kandama. As a mass pool beneath her seemingly sunny and cheerful appearance, she hides a completely different person. Nice. Truly mysterious. Didn't memorize the script today, Albert. Do you want your appearance fee or not? Oof. When Sparkle uses her basic <laughs> attack, she will deal quantum damage to one target enemy based on her attack. Unlocking Ooh. specific traces allows her attack to additionally regenerate a certain amount of energy. Whoa! Almanac. Those moves are so agile. And look at those sharp techniques. How smooth and free. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. Sparkle's skill will increase the crit damage of an ally based on her own crit damage for a certain number of turns. Interesting. This also causes the target's action to be advanced for. She not only displays no. her own exquisite Bronya acting got skills, but also crap. brings out the most sincere performances Damn. from others. Truly amazing. Bronya got power crap. When Sparkle is on the battlefield, Sheesh. the max number of skill points is additionally increased. For every skill point consumed, the damage dealt by our allies will be increased for a certain number of turns, Ooh. stack it up to a certain limit. She's like a shining beacon. Indeed. Every scene becomes vivid and interesting with her. Every character comes to life. Inter-astral peace entertainment owes Mistress Sparkle a lifetime <laughs> achievement. Look at all the expression. <laughs> that was a bit too much. Oh. Let's tone it down a little. What do you mean too much? This is my professional evaluation as a veteran actor. As a versatile veteran actor, Mr. Sparkle can effortlessly embody any role. The hero, hero of a thousand, thousand faces, faces is not an exaggeration. When using her ultimate, Mr. Sparkle recovers a certain amount of skill points for the team and Ooh. grants allies the Cypher effect. When allies win That'll Cypher, be really good for teams that are very heavily SP negative. Stack additionally increases the effect for a certain number of turns. 
Oh my! What a breathtaking performance! Interesting. Can I watch this for free? Great actors don't just sign <laughs> on set a stage. Sometimes Mr. Sparkle willingly remains behind the scenes. Oh? Using her technique, she puts all allies in stealth mode for a certain amount of time. Entering battle while in stealth mode recovers a certain amount of skill points for the team. Ooh, we never settle for mediocrity. Nice. Next is the highlight of this episode. After relentless efforts, we obtained an unreleased clip of Mr. Sparkle performing. Hey, yo. Play the tape. Ooh, the actress in this scene is a newcomer, and her first performance seems a bit inexperienced. She uses her skill, <laughs> assuming one skill point. Then Mr. Sparkle uses her skill, immediately putting the newcomer into a performance state. Under the influence of Sparkle's skill, her crit damage is increased and her action is advanced forward. I see you. The newcomer, Mr. Sparkle is indeed a great veteran actor. Soon after, another actor joins in, escalating the dramatic you call This is because he used his skill, increasing the attack of all allies. Truly an experienced actress. Such professionalism. Bravo! <laughs> Thanks to the action advancing effect of Mr. Sparkle's skill, it's the newcomer's turn again. Oh, no, she oh, got no. skill points and can't use her skill. Oh. Maybe she forgot Rip. her lines. Can this scene be salvaged? Newcomers are prone to stage fright. It's just unavoidable. But Mr. Sparkle timely fills in a line, avoiding an awkward silence. After she uses her ultimate, the team gains a whopping four skill points. The newcomer, having used her skill, also remembers her lines and takes action to nice. the enemy. <gasps> What a brilliant performance. Nice one. I can't help but wonder, are there any limits to Mistress Sparkle's acting? No, you are asking the wrong question. You should instead ask, what are the limits of the art of acting? Oh, Mr. Sampo, do you have any insight into that? I believe that Mistress Sparkle represents the limit of the art of acting itself. How profound. Hmm. Interesting. I applaud you, Mr. Sampo. Unfortunately, your acting is still confined to... Confined to what? Oof. Finish your sentence. Mr. Zampo, you have too many limitations. Having limitations always kills the vibe. Wait, Ooh. why does that sound so familiar? Are you? Now that we've come to the end of the show, <laughs> how about another riddle? What looks like Albert sounds like Albert as the personality of Albert. But isn't Albert? <gasps> it's Sparkle. Sparkle. Just as I thought. Nice. Uh, don't leave me before paying me first. Eh, uh, that's a wrap. <laughs> oh, that is fun. That is pretty funny. Alrighty. So that's the uh, Keeping Up with Sparkle. Uh, Keeping Up with Starreal. Sparkle Ability Intro Vid. Remember to fix the title. So the host has to write the video description themselves? What a hassle. I'll just write whatever. Thank you for tuning in to this special interastral peace entertainment program. Keeping up with Star Rail, Sparkle, Ability, Intro Vid. Remember to fix title. Alright, and that is uh, all of Sparkle's... Um, that is all of Sparkle's uh, trailers that we have reacted to. Sparkle seems to be a very interesting character, especially from, from the very bare minimal... Um, that we've seen from her in the version 2.0 story quest. Uh, sorry, not just the not just the story quest, but also the main trailblazed missions as well. I think we're probably going to see more of her in the upcoming uh, version 2.1, 2.2 story. So I think that's going to be pretty interesting to see. And I want to know what kind of a role she plays in all of this. Yeah, I'm pretty interested. And yeah, I uh, hope you guys have a... Um, good day wherever you are if you made it to the end thank you all so much let me know if you uh let me know in the comments if you're pulling for sparkle and i wish you all good luck on your pools may you all win all your 50 50s get her weapon get her idol on if possible and yeah hope you guys have a fun time playing with sparkle uh but yeah that is the end for me so thank you all so much for coming and i'll see you guys again in the next video till then have a good one. Have a good day ahead, wherever, whenever you're watching this. Bye-bye.